What's going on everybody? So today, first of all, I gotta go ahead and get my 5,000 coins after that bloodbath that the Panthers, oh my god. Bro, Carson Palmer is such a bum, man. Um, but on another note, we're gonna look at the team of the week with Von Miller. Obviously I said, bro, look guys, Von Miller was like, I, I don't know how to describe him. Um, was he lint inside Ken uh, Peyton Manning's, I mean uh, Tom Brady's butt cheeks, bro? This dude was on him as soon as the ball was hyped. But looking at the card, I don't think they did him justice. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at it, like 92 acceleration, meanwhile Aaron Lynch got 99, uh, 93 speed, okay, that's decent, but bro, did you see how fast he was getting back there? It was like nobody was there. Um, this car doesn't seem to be that much of a, you know, of, of a, like, excitement for me. I'm not gonna lie to you about it, I have no interest in getting it. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, stick with my Vic Beasley's and my Randy Gregory's and such, and, uh, move on from it. Um... I just, you know, we could just talk about it, man. Like, it was a really bad thing that happened to those Cardinals. But, you know, if you guys watch my NFL recaps, which are available here at G Myers World on YouTube or on iTunes and Android for free downloads, uh, just search G Myers World Podcast uh, in iTunes, uh, in, on iTunes directly. Or if you're on Android, you got to download the podcast source app. And there's also a lot of other podcasts that are available in that app. Um, but if you wanted to get my podcast on Android for free, um, you'd have to download the pod podcast source app on the Android and um, you just search G Miles with podcast and it'll be right there. Um, but, you know, Carson Palmer has been a bun, uh, a, a, what, what, I was about to say a bun, bro, bum for a while now. And it just seems as if nobody else knows that but us. Like, if you tweet anything about it, everybody will let you know he's a bum. But for some reason, Bruce Aarons is cursing at the media saying that it wasn't Carson Palmer's fault. So what game was he watching? You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, I'm, I'm watching him say this and I'm like, what the, is he high? Like they gotta start drug testing these coaches because he really said it was the Carson Palmer's fault. This man came out and was playing with blinders on and it wasn't his fault. So I, I don't know where you go from that because you can't build a team when everybody, like, okay, Patrick Peterson made one mistake. All right, he muffed the punt. Okay, they could have recovered from that if Carson Palmer was putting points up. You understand what I'm saying? Like he was, he was putting points up, but for the other team. So how is it not his fault that they lost? I don't really understand that. So, you know, somebody's going to need to explain that to me. Um, obviously, people go into denial immediately, you know, after something bad happens. That may be what's going on with Bruce Aarons. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I did lose a lot of respect for him for saying that because you have to. I understand you want to back your quarterback, but Carson Palmer, is, is, he's going to always do that. He's been in the league 13 years. It's not like he's going to do something else. Like, you know, it's, you're used to it. It's like, look. If you're young right now, you go through a phase where you determine how you're going to be when you're older. If you choose to make bad decisions um, now, it's not necessarily true that later on in your life you'll make bad decisions. But if you get up there like 28, 29, 30, you're still doing the same shit you was doing when you was like 15, 16, you're going to be a debt. You're going to be whatever the F you were. This man has been in the league 13 years. You know what I'm saying? It's simple logic. He's going to always be a bum. So you can't back him. Um... Younger QBs, I can understand the, the coaches backing the younger QBs. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kirk Cousins is a great, look at this. See, this is what Tom Brady, this is what uh, Peyton Manning is going to do in the Super Bowl, by the way, if you, for all you Broncos fans. You guys can curse at me or whatever. I don't really give a F. Uh, but that's what he's going to do. He's just going to throw the ball up. For, you know, it's going to be picks. Because he's going to have to make, he's going to have to score against uh, Carolina. So they're going to be all that run game BS and all that stuff that's going on. He's going to have to, look at this, predetermined pick. Great. Good job. Good job, EA. Um, but yeah, he's going to have to throw the ball up. He's going to have to throw the ball, and um, it's going to be some things that's going to happen that people are not going to like. But just looking at the fact... Oh, yo, shout out to Golden Tate for that fail Mary. Um, Kirk Cousins, last season, not this season that I'm talking about right now, where he, where he stepped up and played very, very well. Last season, this man was just throwing picks all over the place, bro. The dude was a human interception, right? Okay. He got backed by his coach. You know what I'm saying, bro? Um... Whichever way, whatever whatever um, scenario happened, whatever like that, they chose to go back to him this season, right? He's young, okay? So Jay Gruden backing him, it makes sense because you don't know what's going to come of him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's young. He still has time to develop into something. Carson Palmer is a freaking bum, and he's been in the league for 13 years. So there is no upside for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like he's Brett Favre. Like, even when Brett Favre was, like, 9,000 years old, he was way better than what we were looking at with Carson Palmer. And yeah, Brett Favre was interception prone, obviously through that, that, that crushing one for Vikings fans in the Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying, against the Saints, but he was able to get them there. Like he, he was something that could create something. Carson Palmer creates interceptions. That's what he does. 
Yo, by the way, this this Tyran Matthew, bro, the Honey Badger, this is only the 90 overall. He's the best pickup I've ever gotten at free safety, bro. Let me just let you guys know that right away. Um, you know what? Might as, I might as well give you guys a lot of update uh, after this video for the guys that have been looking out for it, but and hasn't you know haven't been at my stream for a couple days uh, at G Myers World on Twitch, but. You, you guys have to look at it and understand. If the Cardinals come back next year with Carlson Palmer at quarterback, Bruce Arians doesn't like to win. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but Carlson Palmer is going to always be Carlson Palmer. This man has had so much talent around him, bro. You, you know what's funny? Um, I know a lot of people were, you know, saying that I was making excuses for Tom Brady. He had no O-line, blah, blah, blah. They tried to compare it to Peyton Manning when he played, played the Seattle Seahawks in the Super Bowl and he got ass reamed. Just, just imagine this, bro. Imagine that you're standing in the wilderness and you you, you lock eyes with, with, with two pack of wild wolves who are Demarcus Ware and Von Miller. And you're, you're in the wilderness where it should be trees, but there's no trees. And they have a direct fucking line to you. What are you going to do? That's what happened, just imagine that. That's what happened to Tom Brady. Now look at, look at this now. When you look at what happened with that Broncos game, a botch snap, what was that? Didn't it, did it sort of like a safety or something? I don't, I'm trying to think back. That was like Super Bowl 48. I know that Peyton Manning just made a lot of errant mistakes. Like he was just doing dumb shit. That, that's completely different than saying that his line didn't block for him. Because I do remember his line, you know, were they getting pressure on him? Yeah, but they were, they, they were blocked. They did a lot better job than what Tom Brady got. And keep in mind, I'm not a Broncos fan. I'm not a, I'm not a Pats fan. I watch football and I talk about it. I'm just letting you know right now. I didn't see anybody in front of Tom Brady. He was just saying hike, and it was an imaginary thing right there. It was like, bro, hike. Oh, come here. What the? Yo, bro, hike. Oh, like, bro, dude was screaming. Did you see the slow-mo of his face? He didn't know what to do, just throwing the ball into the dirt. I told you. I thought he was a Caucasian Jamarcus Russell. You guys know that Tom Brady doesn't do that. But I don't know what happened. Like I said, I think Tom Brady was flirting with, like, Flirt with one of the old linemen's wives and he didn't like it and he told the other old lineman because you know they got a like they got a nice tight clip. Tom Brady did something. Maybe he bought a pair of Uggs that one of the old linemen's wives wanted. I don't know what he did, but he did something that he shouldn't have done because nobody blocked for him. And I don't know why I'm still getting Team of the Week Master things when I just completed the Team of the Week Master last week. Maybe EA will do something with this because I'm pretty sure that they'll realize that that's what happened and they'll fix it. I, you know, I, I really don't know, but it's another one I have not, I can't do anything with it. Um, it's been added to every set it belongs to, so I guess I just get one. Maybe they'll give us something special for completing everything. I don't know, bro. Maybe it'll be like uh, a turd. You know, it'll be a turd pack because that's all I usually get is garbage. But you know what I'm gonna do? Just to prove to you guys I only get garbage, well, Obviously, if I say that, they're going to probably give me something. This pro pack I got for free doing the objectives, which was all run game this week, which I hated doing because I hate running the ball. But I'm adjusting. I'm learning that I have to run the ball to be successful, blah, blah, blah. Great, great, great. So I've been doing that. So that that was the objective pack. Um, and right here with the pro pack, let's see what's in it. Watch me get something good now. Okay. Anton, okay. Yeah, that's decent. I, don't, I think he should be a decent amount of coins. The 74s are rare, right? But that's probably one of the BS 74s. Um, that's not really going for anything. Um, I also got a veteran pack because I just uh, got another um, Ultimate Seasons bat. So I'm very, very close to 99 OBJ. I just got to grind out a little bit more. So, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get there soon. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Um, Roman Harper. Okay, bro. Bum sale. Like, bro, this dude is out of here, bro. It doesn't even really matter. Let's get a little 88 speed. Nope. Okay, that's all I needed to see. That's all 88 speed. Okay. Yo, bro. Okay. That's it for him. So we're going to get rid of him. You probably won't see him at the next stream at G Myers World. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the current roster. Romo's the same. We got Paraman, Bam Bam. I'm just going to go through it really quickly. I'm going to have to do a separate line of update to go through everything that's going on. Um, but pretty much I'm just going to, you know, just browse through and let you guys see it. Um, it's been, you know, you guys have been asking politely to see it. So I don't want to be a douche about it. You know, for the guys like, yo, bro, let me see that team, nigga, you jack. Like, bruh, nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, you're not going to see it. Like, calm down, bro. Have some respect. Um, and uh, the additions, uh, Tyran Matthew. We got uh, uh, Peanut Tillman, and we got Ron Parker. And that Julius Peppers, he's really a 93 overall. Bro, let me just tell you something, bro. He's standing there like a man amongst boys in that middle, though. I'm going to tell you that right now. Like, I was hesitant to get him because he's a little bit slower um, than uh, Anthony Barr, but it was worth it. This dude right here, Tyron Matthew, man, I love him, bro. I really, really love him at, at, at free safety. I'm going to just leave him there. I'm not even going to bother him. Uh, Julius Peppers, Peppers, obviously, he's that middle linebacker, so he's a little bit lower overall. He's 93. Um, but he is a beast, bro. He is definitely a beast. And uh, Ron Parker, which I really love over there. Like I said, I go budget, man. I try to go high class. High class don't work for me, bro. I guess it's because I'm from the streets, dog. I can't fucking forget it. I can't leave that alone, bro. I'm mutt rich, but still, I'm me.
one love.